Hello my friends, the daily pedagogical trick uh, yesterday, <laughs> you suffered a little bit yesterday and before yesterday too. Uh, before yesterday was this four part of your body that you have to move instead of moving the fingers themselves. That was a little bit complicated and nobody finds the four, the four part of your body. That was uh, the hips, the right arm, the eyebrows to fix the tension and the movement of the neck to, for the movement of the fingers themselves. Yesterday was a question about what are the three parts of your body that are in contact with the accordion? Only three when you are sit and when you pull. So the answer, it was so simple. In fact, you know, in general, like in all my lessons, when I ask one question, the answer is on the question is very close. You just have to sit with your instrument, you pull with your bellow, and what you feel, you feel that the right strap is under tension. But the left, no. You can pull like that, you can... You don't need the left when you pull, okay? Then, which other part, if you pull? The arm, of course, but not inside, outside. So the outside part of your wrist was the second point. And where is the third point? Of course, the instrument, when you are seated, is put on which leg? On the right one, and you have blocked the bellow? Of course not. It's put on the left leg. The right leg is for nothing. You can even put it uh, there far uh, when you pull. The gravity goes in that direction and you don't need at all the right leg. So, only three points when you pull. Why I ask you that question and why I, I, I put that under the highlight, let's say. Just because when you pull, you have three points, not two, because two, the instrument is not fixed. Three, it's a maximum. Four, you begin to be blocked. And if after all your body, touch the instruments then you are absolutely blocked and you block your body and you block the movement of the bellow. That means the keyboard will be soft, your fingers will go down and move. Okay, so why I insist about when you are sit, when you pull, why you need to know what are these three points? Because at the moment you come back, if you don't prepare the three other different points that are in contact with the instrument, when you close the bellow and you are sit, which are absolutely different, then it makes that and you are not in contact with the instrument and the instrument is too much free. So you will block your fingers on the keyboard and then <laughs> you play like that, wonderful. So the answer, okay, I repeat was when you pull its external part of your wrist, the right strap and the left leg. Now, second question. When for tomorrow, when you want, or impress me for tonight with a Facebook live show with Nanato Lima from Brazil, genial, and uh, Motion Trio, of course, absolutely genial. Um, what are the three points that are in contact with the accordion when you are sitting and when you push, when you close the bellow? They are absolutely different, and it's important that you know who they are, which point are in contact when you go, now you know, but when you come back, because you have to change these parameters before you change the bellow. Otherwise, you will lose the control of your instrument when you change the bellow. And most of the mistakes you do when you play accordion, lost memory, um, press another note on the right, on the left, just because you fix your instrument with your fingers and you are not able to move the fingers anymore. Okay, so impress me, send me the answer. It's easier than yesterday, I think.